I would like to demonstrate a new feature in Symmetron version 10 called parametric import. Under file, import, we will see the option parametric import. And I'm going to be using this in order to put locks on the uh, parting surfaces here for my parting surface part. So I'm going to begin by actually first creating the lock in a new part file uh, apart from this assembly. So I'm going to just choose new, part, and inches, and hit OK. And in this new part, I'm going to go into the sketcher and I'm going to draw a box and let's pretend that this is a lock in the uh, upper left we'll give it a dimension let's say six inches that way by four inches this way and exit and then we're going to do a solid new extrude and let's go three inches tall now of course we could put draft on it right now of 10 degrees uh, but then it's going to put draft on the back sides which I don't want so I'm going to opt to not use any draft just yet and go ahead and extrude it instead I'm going to use solid taper pick the bottom of the block as my reference and then I'm going to pick the sides here and 10 degrees so we're only getting the two sides tapered okay next we're going to put some rounds on let's go with a uh, one inch round here in this corner and three-eighths of an inch here all right and now we're going to double click on the lock itself and we're going to assign some key dimensions so if I actually pick on this dimension you'll see that I have the option here to make this a key dimension so I pick here to mark this as a leading dimension that's it same thing here and same thing here and I'm going to click on the round make this one a leading dimension as well and also this round a leading dimension as well uh, we could change the angle also but um, chances are 10 degrees will be pretty common so I don't think I'm going to bother changing that so for all the ones that I marked leading dimension, they're going to show up here when I choose edit leading dimensions. And we'll take the time to rename these. So this one is going to be the, well, let's call it vertical corner round. And this one we're going to rename to top edge round. This one we'll rename to X length. This one we'll rename to Y length. and this one we'll rename to lock height okay we'll go to isometric view and save it and we're going to change this one to be um, upper left lock and it would make sense for us to save this not in the working directory where the mold design is being done but rather uh, in our own catalog directory where we can access this lock for future jobs 
So I'm going to put mine here under my personal catalog. And again, I'm just going to call it upper left block. Save. All right, now uh, we can rotate this around 180 to become the lower right. Uh, but I want to create a copy of it and make an upper right so that between the two we can rotate them 180 degrees and get all four corners. So let's choose save as and we'll call this upper right lock. Okay, so now to create the upper right lock I'm going to uh, go through here and make some changes. First, I'm going to edit the sketch. And I want the reference point to be in the upper right. So I'm going to take this connect feature and delete it. And drag this box over to this side. We're going to need an, a new tie down to this constraint. Uh, for this corner at the UCS. So I right click and choose add constraint. I pick here and there and call it coincident and exit. Then we're going to edit the taper and we're going to go back to step two over here in the feature guide and now it's not this wall but rather this wall and say OK. We're going to change the round so it's not this wall, or sorry, this edge, but rather this edge. And we change this round to go across here. Okay, so now we've got the upper right lock. And actually, because we took this, the time to redo these steps, uh, probably all of these things are still okay. They're still leading dimensions. They're still tied correctly to the leading dimensions here. So we should be good on all of that. So uh, we just hit save and then close. And now we're ready to bring these in. So the way that the parametric import works is that you have to be in a part file in order to use it. You don't add it at the assembly level, you add it at the part file level. So I'm going to choose File, Import, Parametric. We're going to take the upper left. And there's a few different ways that we can place it. Uh, we're going to choose by plane and points. So I pick the plane. and now I need a point uh, so let's drop into the sketcher picking this plane again and I choose uh, add geometry and pick that endpoint and then exit now that point is available to be selected and it drops the lock at that location and maybe we should go to the front view in order to look at the height of it and here we can see that it's pretty close to the top of the block which probably is good uh, if we did want to make changes we could uh, simply go to the second row of optional steps and we could push it up or down if necessary uh, but I think that that height is going to be good and here's the, the neat part about the uh, parametric import is that we have control over editing these leading dimensions while we're bringing the lock in. So if I want to change, for instance, the uh, height or the length or the width, I have access to all of these values here. In fact, let's take a look at it and see what we think. Um, probably this parting surface part is bigger than the insert or the, or the actual block is going to be. So we want to bring these in a little bit closer uh, to the features over here in order to uh, have enough lock once the block gets cut. So let's choose edit leading dimensions and uh, 
surely we have to go more in this direction. So we'll change the Y length uh, to 5 inches and have a look at that. Probably a bit more is okay. There's 5 and a half. And maybe we want to go another half an inch this way. We'll go to 6 and a half. Alright, that looks pretty good. Yeah, let's go ahead and accept that one. Now we're going to take the upper right. Again, placing it on uh, this plane. And I'm going to need a, a point, so I go into the sketcher. Choose Add Geometry. Pick that endpoint. Exit. Pick that point. And let's look at changing the size of this one. We'll go five inches here. That's a little bit too much. Let's go four and a half. And a half an inch this way, six and a half. Okay, good. And then we'll take the upper left again. And go into the sketcher. Pick this point here. We need to rotate that 180. And we're going to change the size of it. Oops. Okay. We can go much more here in the Y. Let's try 5 inches. Let's, let's go crazy. We'll go 6 inches. And we could probably add another inch this way, make it seven. Okay, that looks decent. And now the upper right. Uh, we need to go into the sketcher. Add point. Exit, pick point, and this one's quite close, so we're going to have to back this one off. Uh, let's do edit leading dimensions, uh, we'll go like 5 inches this way. Yeah, it looks okay, let's try that. Alright, very good. Now we should be able to, to uh, cut these. And let's try to merge them. Cool. And then let's try to put some rounds on.
Okay, there we go. So that's how we would use the parametric import. Um, and actually, if I were going to be cutting the black next, uh, I may delete the side faces that we don't need. Uh, not that I would expect that they'd be a problem, but uh, it just looks funny to me to have those there. That's the result that I would expect in order to do the cutting of my uh, A plate and B plate with. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.